Morning. Great to be here, um, to be able to chat to you this morning. Uh, young people, hope you're doing well. I know there'll probably be some adults that are going to watch this as well. Um, so here we are in lockdown. Uh, last time um, I did a video for you, uh, which was ooh, well over a week ago. Um, you know, none of us kind of knew this is where we, we'd be at. Um, certainly, I think some people were still at school. Now, obviously, that's not happening. Lots of... Uh, homeschooling being done, etc. A lot of you guys are now thinking about, you know, um, what do I do over the next couple of weeks, months? What's school going to look like when I go back? Lots of unknowns. Um, so, yeah, just uh, keep strong and uh, be courageous as well. And that's what I'm going to talk about a little bit this morning. Um, before we get there, um, I just want to um, pray. I'm going to pray a Celtic prayer, um, a Celtic prayly, daily prayer. Um, so just spend a little bit of time uh, just in quiet, maybe just listen if you want to. If You, you, you can Google it and try and find it. I might um, see if we can get as a, as a document put up on the website as well. But it's, let me read it. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks to me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. Pray that as a prayer for all of us this morning um, as we continue uh, with this virus around us, that Christ is that light, Christ is that guide, and Christ is that shield. Um, so this week has been uh, good from the youth point of view. I'm speaking to young people, obviously, at the moment. Um, the interesting uh, thing that we've been doing is Zoom chats uh, on a Wednesday and a Friday. We're going to probably continue with that kind of format. It's been good to check in. For those young people that haven't been able to do that yet, then please try and do it if you can. And I've been doing the Instagram Live as well. Um, so yeah, try and try and engage as much as you can. You don't have to be there and say anything. If you can just just be, that's going to be something I'm going to talk about next week. Is how we be. Um, first off, a bit of product placement. I need a cup of tea. As you can hear, I've got a bit of a croaky voice. I've had a bit of a cough for the last few days. Seems to be getting better, but then all of a sudden it catches you. So um, never mind. I'm going to read a couple of scriptures. Um, that actually some of the young people um, blessed us with during the week. Um, apologies for the light shining in my glasses, but it's just so I can get a good light in here. I'm actually not speaking from a sauna, but inside my van. My van has become my office. My camper van has become my office. And um, yes, we have a 21-year-old at home who is having to use our dining room as an office and everything else that's going on in the house. It's busy as usual. Um, so this is my place of quiet and my garden, my garden of Gethsemane, the garden of Eden, um, as it were. So let me read some scriptures that the young people, um, a couple of scriptures that the young people mentioned uh, during the week. Uh, first one, if you've got your Bible, always have your Bible with you. Because um, I'm going to be doing, um, going, looking at passages of scripture. Uh, 2 Timothy 1, verse 7. Um, and it says, For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power, of love, and self-discipline. And boy, do we need to hear that right now, especially the self-discipline stuff. I know for some of you guys that have got to do homework, coursework, all that kind of stuff still, um, 
you know, to be disciplined in that, to be disciplined, for me as well, disciplined in studying still. I've still got essay deadlines. They haven't changed, um, so they're still there. Um, so, yeah, it's actually how do we have self-discipline in trying to keep things going? Um, so that was a good passage that some of the young people, one of the young people shared. And another one was um, Philippians 4, verse 6. And um, I think this rolls over into verse 7 as well. But it says, Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which passes all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And I thought that was a really good scripture, especially the bit about guarding your hearts and especially your minds. Um, we are in a strange new world, as we've said before. The word unprecedented is uh, being bandied around a lot. Um, but we are in unprecedented times. And, and our minds are a wonderful thing but also can be a little bit of an enemy. Um, so please make sure that you um, spend some time in, in just uh, with God, meditating on his word, getting out in the fresh air in the garden, going for that walk or that run. Um, your mind is really key at this time. Um, you know, for those of you that do self, uh, that struggle with a little bit of self-worth and... Um, uh, identity etc this is a time for you not to um, go further and deeper into darkness but actually um, as I read out and that 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 prayer that Christ is a light okay so so focus on the light focus on Christ so some really good scriptures there keep them coming guys I know that um, we're in this for a long haul it's a marathon not a sprint and um, I'm gonna just share a little bit um, about a passage of scripture um, that that I felt God lead me to, um, and it's 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 quite a good one. Um, it's it's one that we've kind of heard a lot of before, but at this time I think is really key. Um, it's going to be from Deuteronomy thirty one um, verses seven and eight. So open that in your Bibles right now as I preamble and have a, a finger as well. A couple of chapters later for Joshua 1. Um, now we've heard a lot recently about Joshua 1. Um, be bold and courageous or be strong and courageous. A lot of people have, have, have used that in church leadership and it's been very helpful for each of us um, in our own personal walk uh, with God. And uh, I had to, well I didn't have to, but I chose it to as an essay for college. Uh, to look at Joshua 1, and uh, I got a fairly good result back, so I was happy with that. Um, uh, but it's really interesting, because one of the things that's really key, and they ask you to do, is look at similarities in other passages of Scripture. Um, and that's what I kind of did, and, and as I looked back a little bit, um, as you read Joshua 1, you have to read a few chapters back into Deuteronomy, and what was going on in there. And I'm going to read it. Um, and then just just share a few thoughts about it. Uh, I'm going to have another bit of tea because my voice is starting to go again. <clears throat> so let me read Deuteronomy 31, 7 and 8. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the presence of all Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you must go with his people into the land that the Lord swore to their ancestors to give them, and you must divide it among them as their inheritance. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Well, it is. If you go over now into Joshua 1, verses 5 and the beginning of verse 6, it actually says, No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so this is the Lord saying this to, to Joshua, As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous. So notice that in Deuteronomy passage, um, it's Moses actually telling Joshua to be strong and courageous. Um, but then it's God who speaks to Joshua in Joshua 1 to be strong and courageous. A few things just to reflect on as we navigate this coronavirus lockdown. Um, well, firstly, God asks us to be strong and courageous. 
And we need to be trying to carry this out for ourselves and how we support each other's. It's okay to have a wobble now and again, um, but go to God with that. Uh, don't don't try not to wobble in front of of especially non Christian friends. Um, it's okay to wobble in front of parents and and other uh, friends that we've got in Christ, um, and just say, "Look, I'm really struggling with this." It's okay, but actually, God calls us to try and be strong and courageous. Lean on Christ. Because it's when we lean on the chest of Jesus that we actually hear the heartbeat of God. I heard that recently and I thought that was lovely. When we lean on Christ's chest, we hear the heartbeat of God. So we can be bold and courageous because of a few things. Um, And they are actually in the passage of Deuteronomy. Um, Moses was saying to Joshua that the Lord goes before you. He's telling Joshua that God is already in the promised land. That he's working at providing a place for the children of Israel. In the same way for us, God knew this virus was coming and actually how we would react as humanity. For some, it has been panic, others fear, some blaming God for all of this. However, as Christians, we are called not to be anxious, but to trust in him, that he has all things in control And he will use the strength that he has given us to build our characters and and what he has been developing in us. Secondly, he will never leave or abandon us. For me, the biggest reason in knowing this is true is the fact that God sent his only son to die for us. No parent would sacrifice their child for others, knowing that further down the line they would abandon that cause, that reason the reason why their child had to be sacrificed. It's in this knowledge that we can be assured of being strong and courageous. God goes before us in COVID-19, and that's not a passage of scripture. And he will not abandon us because he loves us so much that he sent his son to die for us. Now Joshua was about to head into a land of giants with the knowledge that God was on his side. For us, we need to be assured of that as well. Our giants are a virus. Our giants are isolation, separation, boredom, and a possible lack of toilet roll. Joshua didn't inherit the land just like that. It took time. This lockdown is going to take time. So be strong and courageous, knowing that God goes before us. He will never leave you or abandon you. And supermarkets are restocking loo roll. In that knowledge, be strong and courageous. Let me pray for you all. Yeah, Father God, just want to thank you that you are still God that you are still sovereign, that you will never leave us or forsake us, you'll never abandon us, that, Father, you go before us in all things, just as you did, you went before Joshua into the promised land. He defeated the giants, and, Father, I pray that we would defeat the giants of isolation, of fear, panic, and all the other things that go with it. Father, we pray for those within our church and within our communities that are on the front line, working to uh, bring about the end of this virus, for those that are caring, for those that are sick and have the virus. Lord, would you help us to continue to pray, to continue to lift them up. Father, as we continue with this uh, lockdown, help us to be wise in what we do with our time, that we don't squander it on Netflix all the time, but actually we spend time with you, that we lean on the chest of your son, Jesus, so that we can hear your heartbeat. Pray for everybody who is watching this, Father, that you would bless them. Draw alongside them and bring your peace at this time. In Jesus' name. Amen. There is a song uh, that accompanies this. It's in a separate link, I think, we're going to do. It's a song that I've been blessed with this week. Um, 
a song by a lady called Kari Yobi, I think that's her name, and it's I Am Not Alone. So once you've heard this, um, please take a little bit of time to uh, just spend time with God, knowing that he uh, is with you. He'll never leave you, he'll never forsake you, and you are not alone. Uh, I'm sure we're going to have more of me doing this, possibly from inside the sauna van, as it were. Um, Let's see how things go. And uh, yeah, just be blessed and call the church. uh, If you need anything on the numbers provided, um, go to the website, see what's, you know, the latest news, etc. is. Um, But yeah, don't, don't be strangers, check in. If we need Zoom meetings and all that kind of stuff, we can do it. Okay, guys, God bless, and uh, see you soon on a virtual platform somewhere. Bye.